So this is a third in a somewhat series of videos, but not really. The first one was kind of a satirical trolling video about the mass airflow sensor and the little air veins inside of it. Now, this particular video, I kind of explained that and showed a uh, aftermarket tuned intake pipe afterwards. And I also showed a uh, aftermarket air box that I was kind of looking into. But look at this as the third video. I'm gonna call this one over-engineered. You make the decision. You tell me in the comments how critical you think this German engineering piece is in the intake tract, in the intake system of our 2.0T German masterpiece of an engine. I mean, let's just get right into it. Let me show you. We're talking about the factory air box. So I showed you a little bit last time. This is the drop-in air filter for a factory air box. This one is probably about what they look like when they're ready to be replaced. You know, they're a little bit deceiving with this pre-filter on it, but if you take the pre-filter off, they still stay pretty clean. Let me go ahead and do that for you because now that I mention it, I know you're gonna be curious about it. So it's glued on. See, it doesn't, it's not like it's clean or anything, but it, the pre-filter keeps a lot of the crud out of it. You can still see, oh, I don't wanna breathe it. I don't wanna breathe it. All right, now I just, that's kind of what it looks like in every single one of the, can you get that? Not horrible, you know, but it could stay, it's definitely ready to be replaced. So, this one is the K&N. Should I show you, uh, see how it's, Got a little pattern on it, but anyway, uh, we'll clean that in a future video. We'll show how to maintain this style plus a cone style air filter. This is the bread and butter of the video. This is, we're talking about the air box. So this right here in my left hand, it's the factory air box. This right here would be called like a snorkel. All right. And uh, it's kind of like your uh, air dam in the front of the car to Try to try to get some ram air at, at highway speeds there's supposed to be a mass airflow sensor in between right here right now it's unscrewed okay um the air filter is right in that hole if you'll notice there's only six screws to pop this cap off uh one little thing about this one here is uh if you'll notice, one of those grommets was not properly seated. It's in there crooked, so only one grommet was seated. You know, I've mentioned in the previous video that there was a little piece of foam right underneath the snorkel. I, I went ahead and popped it out already. I'll go ahead and, uh, since you can, you can see this orientation, right? It sits like this. So I'm not gonna stall too much. I'm just gonna tell you what, what this, over-engineered air boxes about. It seems all pretty much common sense, but this area right here, well, what's weird about this area? We got the, the heat flap, that's what, not really, the heat shield, we'll call it that. Uh, flap is what I was mixing up with this right here. What in the world? Yeah, that is a flap. There's a flap, there's like a trap door in the corner of that air box. Well, what in the world is this like set? Let's start taking this thing apart. Something, something's weird about this thing. So this is gonna be a big clue, right? That's a heat shield. And this is the hottest part of the engine. That's where all the exhaust gases collect. So that's like a straight shot into that trap door. Let's open it up. First, I'll show you this snorkel. See, it's just got little tabs in here, and I just like to pinch them and then wiggle it out of place. See, they're, they're all out except this one. See, you just 
push, push it in. And of course, the, the other two went back in as I, so there we go. That just pops out like that. Now, right down in there, I went ahead and took the foam out um, because I've never really played with this either, but there is, it's only in the very entrance of this, right? That there's supposed to be foam down in there. And I, um, if you want to see what it looks like, uh, you can check the last video uh, about the inject intake. I show the foam inside that hole. So let's pop the lid off this. Look at how clean, sparkly clean. Looks like brand new in there. Obviously the air filter was doing its job. Clean on this side too. All right. So far everything looks pretty standard. This bar right here looks like it's just a support bar. Looks like it's just for rigidity. This does seem like it, it could leave you a little bit for performance, you know, because there's a big ledge right here. So the air filter would drop in there. And it doesn't seem like there is, since the air filter is kind of deep, it really doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of room. The air filter might go to the very bottom of that ledge. So they probably do... I'm sure they do research on the flow of, of how the air goes in the box. And there's probably some kind of swirl effect or something. Um, I don't doubt that. They probably have these lines right here. Those are, those are probably like super specific on, on how the dirt is supposed to collect uh, and swirl. Someone that knows aerodynamics of intake tracks can tell me in the comments or post a different video. This looks like it's some type of deal where you could retrofit a Ram Air into the bottom of it. Someone should probably do that. But let's get back to this flap. So we have this sensor looking thing, but there's no wires that go to it. So anyone that works on cars can assume what it is. It's like a cold start flap. and. Uh, in my garage, it might be cold enough to have it slightly open. Um, what, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to, I've got this, uh, I wanted to find some air duster, but what I found was some de-icer. So I'm going to spin this air box around here and I'm going to spray this de-icer right here. And we're going to see what this flap does. So can I get a view of both of them at the same time? You don't probably need to really see. So I'm just gonna spray, Let's see. I think it get a little bit colder. I don't know if you have to, I don't think you have to put this upside down to. There we go. Like I said, I wish I had the air duster because I know for a fact that gets ice cold, but I just ran to the auto parts store and they had some de-icer. So it gets, it gets somewhat cold, the de-icer. time.
maybe it does get colder if you put it upside down. It's kind of cold. I mean, it's not frosty cold like a like a uh, air duster would get. Is that colder or? Is that colder? Spray does not get very cold. This has been sitting here for about 10 minutes though. But what I have here is a good old hair dryer. And we're gonna turn that on hot. First, let's take a look at this hair. This is a simulation of the hair going in that flap. How long is it gonna take? And will it actually close this line of air? Let me show you where I'm blowing on. We all know we like the fun of it. I'm gonna open it up. It's, okay, it's hot to the touch. Definitely, I mean, kinda hot, warm. Fully closed, I mean, probably could, if you wait a couple more minutes, it could probably close all the way flush. We're gonna hit it up with uh, some frost again, though. Now, just because I want all the thumbs up and I want all the subscribes so I can, you know, create more content, I'm going to go ahead and take it apart for you and show you what's up with it. This air box is like a fancy two-piece rim. Look at this thing, how it unclips apart. Now, if you want to do the open door flap mod, all you got to do is pop your air box 
in half and then take your flap module, you know, this very integral piece of German engineering, right? See how it just slides down in here? Let me flip it around so you can get a better view. This integral piece of engineering, see how that nipple on the, on the bottom there gets lined up in that, that pin? Okay, if I can, let me, let me look not through the viewfinder of the camera, that helps me. And then we have this slot back here, we have to align that as well. So literally, that's all it takes to replace. I mean, you could have, a, we're gonna call this, uh, what, what, what do we call this? An, an intake cabodulator valve. A uh, integral heat bypass uh, su supplemental uh, flap. What we're going to call this right here is an over engineered, crazy heat flap. I mean, come on. Give me your opinions in the comment section. Is this a bit much? Maybe this is for like extreme cold climates and they are doing everything they can. This is probably a mission related. This is probably uh, just to pass a certain test in a certain temperature. They had to do this.